Factors influencing immunogenicity. The second important thing is that is related to the contribution of the biological system. That whenever the immunogen is going to inside, enter inside the host or the body, the body ka jo apna system hai, jo biological system hai, wo how it can respond. Okay. So that is very important factors. Agar to wo effectively respond karega, that means that the immunogenicity jo hai, uski agar zyada hai, it will increase the immunogenicity. Otherwise, it would have an less immunogenicity. What are different factors? The first important factor regarding this is the genetic factors. Means genetic factors mean that certain immunogens are very specific in certain uh, species of the organisms. Means, jaise kuch immunogens hain, wo humans mein, they are more immunogenic. Lekin agar unhe animals mein inject kiya jaye, like mouse, ya ma mice, ya rabbit mein, to they are less immunogenic. How it happens means that means that the uh, genetic factors are being responsible for the, the system. Like uh, that's why we are called as the responders versus non-responders. Means agar ek immunogen, agar ek body mein ya ek host mein introduce kiya ja raha hai, or agar it is going to uh, activate the immune response, it would be called as responders. Uh, while if it, it is not being producing any immune response, it would be called as non-responders. Means, agar kuch antigens ya immunogens humans mein enter ho jaye, to wo immune response produce kar dein, to those would, humans would be called as the responders against those immunogens. Lekin agar wohi same immunogen hum mice mein introduce karein, or mice koi immune response produce na karein, to those would be called as non-responders. Now, how it happens? Ye kaise hota hai ke kuch species kuch immunogens ke against to immune response produce karti hai aur kuch species ke against immune response nahi generate karti. So, it is based on the, the information jo ke genes ki form mein hai. Har species mein, har individual mein, har uh, host mein kuch jo uski information hai that, that is the genetic information jo ke genes mein present hai. अब वो जीन्स क्या करते हैं? वो जीन्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल हैं फॉर डेवलपिंग, फॉर दी मैचुरेशन ऑफ बी एंड टी लिम्फोसाइट्स या बी सेल्स के उनके ऊपर जो रिसेप्टर्स हैं, वो अप्रोप्रिएटली उस इम्यूनोजेन को रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं या नहीं करते। सो डेट्स व्हाई वी कैन सी डेट द जेनेटिक फैक्टर इज would be responded in this species or it would not be responded. So every time we have just to think about it. Jab bhi immunogenicity, kisi bhi vaccine, jaysay vaccination ke process mein vaccine ki immunogenicity determine ki jati hai according to species. Ke ye vaccine is species mein zyada effective hai aur is mein less effective hai aur is mein non-responding hai. That's why all these genetic factors they have just to be controlling. The second important factor regarding to the biological system is the age of the responder. Means, the responder hai, the subject hai, jis mein wo immunogen introduce kiya ja raha hai, uski age is very important. So, very young and old individual have the diminished immune response. Means, early age mein, young age mein, jo infancy ki age hai, ya, in, uh, ya children, child level pe jo age hai, us mein immune system is not well established. That's why the immune response is diminished at that. Similarly, in old age, jab immune system uh, old ho jayega, that means that there are certain molecules they are missing. That's why there would be the diminished immune response would be produced at old age. So that's why in case of vaccination, so vaccination ke liye jab immunogen enter kiya jata hai, to that is an, an ideal age is young age. Do ke infancy ki stage hoti hai ya child level pe, abhi immune system develop nahi hoa hota. So at that time, that immunogen would go, it respond accordingly and it can produce a very well response regarding to this. That is an, an positive aspect. Lekin, agar to wo infectious agent hai wo immunogen aur us case mein, agar infectious agent body mein enter ho raha hai at early age, infancy ya old age mein, to wo easily propagate karega, easily grow karega aur jaldi infection cause kar dega. Jaise, 
کہ چھوٹے بچے جو انفینٹ ہیں یا نوزائیدہ بچے ہیں ان میں انفیکشن کیری کرنے کی ایبلٹی زیادہ ہوتی ہے ایز کمپیئر ٹو اڈلٹ اسی طرح جو اولڈ ایج کے لوگ ہیں وہ بھی ان میں بھی انفیکشن کیری کرنے کی یا جو انفیکٹڈ ہونے کی ایبلٹی زیادہ ہے ایز کمپیئر ٹو اڈلٹ انڈیویجل جس کا امیون سسٹم ویل اسٹیبلش ہے تو یو کین سی ریٹ دی ارلی ایج اینڈ دی اولڈ ایج ان ڈیٹ کنڈیشن دا پرسن is considered as immunocompromised that's why we consider that the immune system can be diminished in this case